The Idaho State Department of Agriculture now has a plan to get rid of that invasive quagga mussel. Yeah, News Channel 7's Jude Binkley was just in Twin Falls for a town hall meeting to discuss that treatment plan. It's been two weeks since the Idaho State Department of Agriculture found invasive quagga mussels in a stretch of the Snake River near Twin Falls. We've done extensive sampling upriver and downriver from our initial results, and what we have found consistently is villagers in the Twin Falls Dam area down to Centennial Park. The department also found a plume or epicenter near Shoshone Falls with an adult quagga mussel. But now the department has a plan on how to get rid of the invasive mussels. ISDA has implemented a really aggressive response to this issue, and this is a pace that is probably unprecedented across the U.S. in terms of responding to this type of invasive species find. The Department of Agriculture will be using a copper-based formulation called Natrix as a treatment. It's been extensively studied. It's also been utilized in other waterways and by other states before. Treatment will start on Tuesday and take place in two stages over the course of 10 days. The copper solution will be applied in three areas, from Shoshone Falls to Pillar Falls, Pillar Falls to Centennial Waterfront Park, and the Twin Falls Deep Pool. The department shared their treatment plan during a town hall in Twin Falls Sunday evening. We know that this is an extensive treatment. It's on a river that we all know and love, and so we really want that opportunity for people to ask questions and to understand what we're doing and why. The goal of the treatment is to eliminate quagga mussels at all life stages. The Department of Agriculture says the treatment will stay in the water for about three days and isn't expected to impact any drinking water sources. However, it is expected to kill fish and aquatic plants and algae in the stretch from the Twin Falls Pool to Centennial Park. Idaho Fish and Game has a benchmark for fish populations, which will help guide future fish restoration efforts. The section of the Snake River from the Twin Falls Dam to Niagara Springs remains closed as agencies try to fight the potential crisis. Idaho has spent the last 15 years trying to prevent the introduction of quagga mussels because we know how they would irreparably change the way that we interact with water, and that's in terms of hydropower generation, irrigation, recreation, all of the things that we love about Idaho's waterways would be truly threatened by the establishment of a quagga mussel population. So that's what we really need to work towards is, is making sure that we can keep Idaho's waters um, pristine and in the condition that we all know and love. Now, as Jude said, the treatment is expected to kill some aquatic plants and algae in the area, but no other impact to wildlife is expected.